CEOs of big tech and social media companies testified recently before the U.S. Senate Judiciary Committee about child safety on their platforms and the need for regulation. This conversation is also taking place on the African continent. Technology correspondent Paul Diho has more. Hello, Paul. Uh, uh, Esther, academic experts, uh, research organizations, and political and tech sectors are discussing the need for regulations uh, to keep up with emerging technologies across Africa. For more insight, I spoke to Glenn Mpani, a political campaigns expert and managing partner at Shikamo Political Advisory and Campaign Services based in Cape Town, South Africa. Welcome to Africa 54. Thank you so much, Paul. There's a lot of talk about uh, uh, big tech and uh, regulation. Uh, why is it important for uh, these uh, big tech companies uh, to be regulated? Political campaigns have evolved. Technology is now at the center of all political campaigns. So it's very difficult for any society to run away from the impact of technology. I think with the penetration of mobile uh, connectivity across Africa, uh, use of mobile phones, citizens now can be reached from their mobile phones and therefore if you want to be able uh, to ensure the integrity of elections you can't run away from talking to the big tech companies who are, who are churning out most of these solutions and who are working across the continent why is it that uh, uh, let's say there is a mixed uh, bag of sorts uh, when there are people who are pro regulation and there are those who say uh, maybe uh, they shouldn't even regulate ai at all or any tech companies why is that it's very important for us to understand that um uh, for example if you're talking about ai ai is still at its nascent stage i think there are many solutions that are being developed that have to do with messaging targeting and mobilization but while these tools are being developed there is also a a, a risk that comes with these key tools that are there that warrants regulation because if you don't regulate, let's talk about messaging. If you've got a tool that is in the wrong hands, it gives an opportunity to disinformation. It also affects the credibility of the process and the credibility of the electoral process. So you can't have such a process of regulation. And corporates, they are in it for profit. So while they're in it for profit, if you don't regulate them, it becomes a free for all for people who are using it for good and those who are using it for bad. And so you can't do that. So we need to balance the act. So the idea of us talking about regulation is for us to find a middle spot that allows business to thrive, but also ensuring that the tools are used effectively. Glenn, you bring up a very good point. You talked about the issue of regulation. Uh, just uh, last week here in the United States, uh, you had uh, lawmakers are uh, trying to bring these tech companies uh, uh, to answer a few questions when it comes to regulating rather regulation how can uh, now regulators even in africa or whether it's here in the united states uh, uh, come to terms with it how can they hold these uh, big tech companies to account with regulation i i have a view that there is always scope to learn from each other but context matters we cannot copy and paste how regulation is taking place in the west but we can obviously learn from it the context of africa differs in a number of areas the social, political, and economic context should drive the process. Secondly, the understanding of the context. If you come up with a one-size-fits-all rule in Africa, where you've got disparities in technology, disparities in affordability of either data and technology, you also don't want the regulations to provide a skewed field between ruling and opposition party, because regulation can play a very negative role. So we want regulation to be done mindful of context and reality but there is really scope for us to be able to learn from each other what role should the media play when it comes to maybe advancing a technology in africa or being uh, on the cutting edge of technology as some of these tools uh, uh, especially ai tools continue to you know to evolve the, the role of media is to inform you cannot inform if you are not skilled. You cannot inform if you are not knowledgeable. So one of the challenges that our media is facing is it transitioning from the mainstream media that was used to, to the digital platforms. So the challenge that is there is media has to be adept 
it has to move very fast with the scope and with the world in terms of where things are happening. When an election is about to take place, even if you are not working in that country, I think one of our responsibilities as an advisory firm is to bring in journalists and explain numbers to them, the implications, so that the stories are rich. Voters only rely on what the media gives. So it's very, very important. It's not difficult to explain numbers even to the lowest of our people who are not literate. They will understand it. But the unfortunate thing is our media is not really skilled enough to be able to advance that agenda. Uh, on that note, I'll leave it there. Thank you so much for your time, Glenn. Thank you so much, Paul. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Glenn Mpandi is a political campaigns expert and managing partner at Shikamo, ad, a political and advisory campaign services. Uh, that's our tech report. Back to you, Esther. Thanks, Paul. Be sure to join Paul Deho each Wednesday for his tech report right here on Africa 54.